Let's rock and roll it. Y'all ready? Ready. All righty. I am actually. Don't start that Okay, before we get started, I want to get a sense for why you are in the room for the, uh, my best friend is black, female, and transgendered. Why are you here? Well, because I have a non-mainstream. Because you have a, <laughs> why are you here? Yeah, I've written a, a, a body switch uh, a, between a woman and a, a gay young man. So. Okay, you covered two of the categories, right? <laughs> why are some of you here? You have a non-mainstream? Non okay. Yeah. Why are you here? Same, non-mainstream. Okay. Yeah. Or we think it's non-mainstream anyway. I'm in video games and I was always thinking of different avenues of putting out stories. Okay. Has anybody in here sold a script yet? No. Yet? Yes? You have? Okay. Congratulations. Great. So here's who I am for those of you who've never been in my classes. Anybody been to Screenwriting Expo before? No, oh, cool. Well, welcome. This is my fourth uh, year teaching. And I'm Dr. Fran Harris, and I typically teach about a couple of things. Mostly I teach screenwriting to advanced, beginners, intermediate, but I also talk a lot about marketing. And I talk a lot about marketing because my first foray into screenwriting had a lot to do with my ability to get a non-mainstream, non-commercial, it, it would appear, um, script into the hands of a studio. When I first started screenwriting in 1999, I wrote a script about a guy who could not make it in the NBA, so he dressed up as a woman and decided to play in the WNBA. Love that movie. You do not love that movie. Joanna Man was not my script. That was not my script. That was horrible. Uh, my script was called Loose Balls. Right? <laughs> cool, cool name, right? Cool name. It's about a guy who couldn't make it in the NBA, so he dressed up as a woman and, and tried to play in the, in the WNBA. Now, that script did not get made. But I'll tell you the journey of that script because it's relevant for all of you since you're in this particular, particular session. The script actually landed into the hands of an agent at ICM because at the time I was a broadcaster for ESPN. Enjoy. Sorry, thank you, appreciate it. I'm in a wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was a broadcaster for ESPN. He's oh, so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was a broadcaster for ESPN and I had an agent at ICM. So most of you are familiar with agencies in Hollywood. You know, ICM is one of the big three. And they say, if you ever write anything that you think is really good, let us know. We'll pass it on to our lit department. So they passed my screenplay, Loose Balls On. It got great coverage, and it was being shopped in Hollywood. That's the first screenplay I wrote in 1999. Well, I, I share that because I learned that your script doesn't have to be overly, overly, overly commercial to get attention. But if you think about that movie, that's really Tootsie in the WNBA. So it's highly commercial, even though it was going to be about women who were not necessarily mainstream, and it was going to be about a guy who's in the WNBA. So I bring that part up because it's really your ability to sell whatever you're writing today starts with your, your genre and then your concept. So I'm going to stay on that for a minute because I coach a lot of writers who have, gr who have great writing skills, but when you're trying to sell something that's not Superman, it's not Spider-Man, it's not The Incredibles, it's not The Fantastic Four. These two things have to be so strong. They have to be genres that people want to go see, genres that are being successful at the box office today. So that rules out a lot of epics. Not that those don't get made, because clearly Elizabeth and Queen and that kind of stuff gets made. But we're talking about new writers, un untapped writers, un writers who are probably unrepresented, whatever the case is, so these two things have to be in place. So your genre, when you start thinking about the genres that really get made at the box office, what are we talking about? Comedies. We always want to laugh. Action. What else? Thrillers. Thank you. What else? Family oriented. Okay. That's very big these days. All right. So let's just stay with those for now. You will probably... You know, we will be dead, and these four genres will still be strong. <laughs> they just will. We always want to laugh. We always want action. We're always going to have an appetite for things like The Born Supremacy, uh, Bad Boys 6. We're always going to have a, a, an appetite for that.